Well, five days ago, tragedy hit a Henderson homeless shelter when four men were shot. Two died. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Brad Burke. And I'm Shelley Kirk. Tonight, as residents continue to grieve, a change in scenery is in the works before the shelter reopens. Eyewitness News Cody Bailey is here now with more on changes coming to Harbor House. Cody? Brad Shelley, it's hard to move past any traumatic event without permanent reminders of that experience. But officials with Henderson's Harbor House Men's Shelter are working to remove that possibility with upcoming renovations. Just the reality of what we've lost um, is hard to deal with. They say time heals all wounds, but those wounds are still fresh for Harbor House Community Church Pastor Connie Beck. Following the tragedy on August 25th, Beck has maintained constant communication with the men who were inside the homeless shelter during the shooting. Debriefing just every night. I'm asking them and every day I'm asking, where are you at in your head? What are you thinking? What's the hardest thing to deal with right now? The hardest thing might be simply returning to the scene. For that reason, Beck and other officials with Harbor House have begun the early stages of renovating the facility. We're concerned about the safety and the security about all, for all of our guys and the security of our building. And so those are things that we're working on. So we're trying to just really give room and take as much time as we need to have them off site right now. In addition to security enhancements, which are still to be determined, Beck says all flooring and furniture will be removed and replaced something she believes is crucial for their emotional well-being. We're going to do some other aesthetic changes so that when the door opens, what the guys see is a different picture. We want, don't want them. We want to help change what they see. Taking a positive from a tragedy like a mass shooting is difficult, if not impossible. But Pastor Connie says the good in humanity is already shining through. We're seeing the community come around us and love on these guys, whether it's bringing a meal or dropping flowers and beginning a, more, a memorial. I want to invite the community to add to this and let's let's honor these guys. Let's love on these guys. While no timeline for the renovations has been given, Pastor Connie says they want to move as fast as possible to allow the men to return and heal from this tragedy.